show you how to make fake baby food for your babies. Um, so for the first one, it looks like this. And for the first one, you will need one bowl or container or a baby bowl. My baby bowl's in the dishwasher, so I can't really get it. So I'm just using a normal bowl. You'll need some water. I just got some water in these cups. Some flour. You need a little this thing, and it slurps up medicine and everything. You'll need that. You will need a spoon to get the flour. You will need some sort of something to mix it all in. And um, this is optional food coloring. And if you're not going to use food coloring, then you don't need this because this is for the food coloring. But if you have the dripping, if you have the squeeze one, then you don't need that. Right, and excuse my sister because she's just like talking and everything. All right. So first of all, you're going to get your uh, flour. So frozen flour, any flour will do. I'm just gonna get out a couple of spoons. A little bit now and a little bit later. Um, excuse my sister. So you only need to do a little bit. It's up to you how much you wanna do. I'm only gonna do one spoonful. That will be enough. And then you can put that back. You're not gonna need that as well for the next one. No, <laughs> that was just my sister. This is Ella's baby. She wanted to show you. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So then, after you've done that, you're just going to pour in a little bit of water. Hopefully it's not too much. And you're going to get your mixing spoon and you're just going to mix it up until you get the right consistency. So first we'll start being like all goopy and everything and clumpy and lumpy. And then once you add lots more water, it'll get more of the consistency you want. And if you don't know the consistency you want, just wait. I'll show you. Hopefully this works. Because I haven't actually tried it. I just actually found out about this way to do it. I might need more flour. I don't know. I've never done it before. Might add too much water. Yeah. And Oh, sorry about my sister, guys. She is really mean. Then, my baby hasn't got a shirt on yet because I just took it off, but that's my baby. Ella wanted to show you. Okay, so I might need to add some more flour because I added a bit too much water. Because, yeah, baby food, like, is really disgusting. I mean, really disgusting. So you want it to look just like the real baby food, and to do that, the boy one. Oh, now Ella's gonna show you her other baby. This one. I'm really sorry about my sister today, mm -hmm. guys. I'm really sorry. So now I'm just gonna add some more water. It is might take a while to get the right consistency, but you don't want to add too much water at a time because you just want the right amount of water every, every time you put it in. Because otherwise you're going to get too much water and you might as well boil them. Because as I said, I've never made this before, but I know it works because my sister made it and everything. So I don't know how much she added. I'm um, just... The flour... And the water. I just added four spoons. These big spoons? No, some on my hand. Oh. Show me the consistency of this. Some on my hand, some on this spoon, and some on that. Okay, can I have a look at yours? So, this is Ella's. Ella's is really, really nice. So now we know how what Ella's look like. Just gonna have to add more and more water. It's gonna stick together and everything. And you don't want that. You want it just nice and everything. That's why I added more water. And 
That's probably the Princess Nancy you want. You can see that. That's probably the one. It depends if your baby likes that. I might have half of a spoon more because I made it a little too, a little bit too runny. And you don't want it too runny. You still want it like the baby food, the real baby food in there. And this is going to get really stinky after one or two days. So we're going to keep it for like one or two days. And then throw it out because I'm um, going to get really stinky. It's like goo, sort of. And sorry about my sister again. I just had to ask her about that. She was the first one to make it. Alright, so now we're gonna get our food coloring. I've got red, but you can have any color you want. Try not spilling it over. Now get your little thingy here. I'm just putting it in there and sucking some up. And then I'm just gonna do one drop. One drop. That's all. And then you're just gonna mix that up and see if it's enough. And then if you want it some more, if you want it dark, if you want it light, if you want it pinky, I'm making my strawberry sort of one. And I really hope this works for you guys because it works for me, it works for my sister, it works for I think everyone. So it works for you guys as well. There's that one. It should look like this now. If you have more food coloring left in your thingy, just tip it back in there. Not that hard. Really not. Then put the lid back on it and put it away. So that was the first one. Now for the second one. For the second one, what you will need is a bowl, some water, some water. Something to mix it with, it just has a fork and some moisturizer. I have like this, you'll need coconut butter formula, um, softens, smoothens, and relieves dry skin. That's the stuff you'll need for the color because this is going to be like a custard sort of food for you, baby. So, what you will need, you get this up, you can get this at Woolworths, and um, it's Cold Palmer's Coconut Butter Formula. Um, it looks like this, so yeah, try and get that. If you can't, well then just food color it. So, I had to use conditioner to, to ma finish my, my, my milk. Sorry if you've seen my um, sister. Why did you steal it? I didn't steal it, I'm using it. So you're just going to put a little bit of that in. Like five squirts. Got the squirty one. Then you're just gonna add a little bit of water. And this does work, by the way. And it smells like it smells really good. I like the smell. You might not. My mum does. I'm feeding my baby. And that's just my parents. So, I'm not making a lot of this. Oh. Ooh. Be careful about that. You might get in my fingers. really good because my mom even said what is this custard doing in this baby bowl and I'm like that's not custard that's not baby food that I made and she's like oh that's a custard and I said that was what I was aiming for so I'm kind of glad that she actually thought it was custard and you don't need a lot okay go on play baby because this is my mom's like stuff, but she doesn't need to use it. 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, so. And yeah, that's my little custard sort of thing. And you just add the water and add the butter, the thingy, and then you have this nice consistency that you could call thick custard. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this works. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, um, subscribe, and if you want me to do how to make the how to make baby milk, fake baby milk, then comment down below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and then I will do it for you. So thanks for watching guys, bye.